The EQUL plugin allows you to affect individual frequencies of the sound playing through the mixer track EQUL is placed on. Don't think of this as a final EQ on your tracks. Think of it as a dynamic EQ adjuster while the song is playing. This plugin allows you to affect the volume of frequencies and even the frequency amount on each side of the stereo output. So you could drop the bass in your left ear, leaving the right side playing normally. EQUO is great for creating a sweeping effect using automation clips. Remember that you can automate nearly everything, so it's easy as right clicking a knob and choosing create automation clip. So let's look at what the controls do and then apply our new knowledge. The left side of the EQUO is a graph that has low frequencies on the left and high frequencies on the right. At the top of this graph is a drop down menu with random, flat, and interpolate options. Random will generate a random EQ curve for the selected bank. Remember that if you have the master selected, this will only affect the final output and will not be used for the sweeping effect for which this plugin was intended for. Flat will bring the EQ line back to the middle where there will be no noticeable effect and interpolate will automatically draw the in-between curves for bank 2 through 7 when you draw a curve on bank 1 and then a curve on bank 8. This option is excellent because when you have a certain sweep in mind and know the sweep start and end point, the interplate option will draw the necessary curves to create a smooth transition between the first and last bank curves. The mode buttons to the right of the drop down menu are pencil, which allows you to move single frequency blocks up and down, line, where you can click and drag straight lines to make a curve, and the curve option, which is the default behavior. When you click and hold the analyze button, it will draw a curve based on the audio that is playing through EQO. The bank selects down at the bottom allows you to draw a different curve for the bank you select. The volume, pan, and send buttons will allow you to change the frequency volume for the bank, the frequency amount in the left or right channel using pan, and the frequency send amount for the bank you have selected. The morph knobs are where all the action happens for the frequency changes. The shift knob will slide the currently drawn curve to the left or right depending upon the position of the knob. This is the knob that you want to automate. The send only option allows you to mute the mixer track output to the master and then you can select a send track on which to place the sound. Remember that 1 through 4 means send 1, 2, 3, or 4, so select accordingly. If you have music or a different instrument on the track to the right of the EQO and you choose to send 1, the send output will play on that track. This can cause trouble because you can't see why the EQO is playing on the send through internal routing, so use caution with this option. Add mode means that the affected signal will be combined with the original output rather than just the effect playing through the EQO's output. This is good for when you need the original curve to play with your affected sound. So if you have a curve that cuts out the mid-range, with add mode on, when the curve passes over the higher frequency to cut it out, the higher frequency will still play. Oversample will improve the quality of the sound that comes out of the EQO, and the bandwidth knob will adjust the amount that the curve will affect the sound. So if you raise the bandwidth, your EQ curve will have a more subtle effect on the audio playing through the EQO. This effect is great for quieting a drum beat at the beginning of a song, and then as the main verse starts, you can bring out all the frequencies up to normal. One thing to note is that you should get your EQ settings where you want them using the Fruity Parametric EQ before making changes with this plugin.